here is another germ cell tumor. It's called a dysgerminoma. If I went to a very high level pathology conference and show the slide and told all the brilliant uh, experienced people there that this was a section through a testis of a seminoma, they would probably all believe me. And the reason for that is seminomas of the testis appear virtually indistinguishable most of the time from dysgerminomas of the ovary. So dysgerminomas of the ovary and seminomas of the testis look exactly the same. Both of them, and in this case now, the ger dysgerminoma has these large germ cells, which maybe 70% of these cells are, but they are also stippled and surrounded and cuffed by these small lymphocytes as well. Sometimes the lymphocytes are the majority of the cells. Sometimes the uh, tumor cells, the totipotential uh, germ cells are the majority of the cells in this area. And in this case, this is mostly germ cells. Dysgerminas of the ovary are like seminomas of the testis. They're all malignant. And I uh, started this case out by zooming in really high power. That's because when I you zoom out, it pretty much looks the same all over. And in some areas, perhaps you could see more fibrous tissue. In some areas, you might see a few more germ cells than normal. In some areas, you might see a few more lymphocytes than normal. This is a dysgerminoma of the ovary. And in contrast to the Brenner tumor and the uh, benign cystic teratoma, which were two germ cell tumors of the ovary, which were benign, dysgerminomas are all regarded as malignant. Thank you very much.